This is about 90 years of doing what others are not. An open-mindedness to the way things open and finding inspiration in the unexpected. This is about going places others aren't. Introducing the Lincoln Motor Company. Hi, I'm Woody Lassane and welcome to the Women's Power Network. Today we're going to talk about image and power. How much power do you actually have when you have a good self-image? Today I'm going to be talking with my friend Barbara Schumann, who's the CEO and founder of Touche Beauty. She's taught skincare and estheticians. She has done tremendous training. She's written books and articles. She knows this business inside out, having grown up in it as a child and having actually produced her own products line. How much is your image really tied to your sense of power? Directly. I think it's a very direct link. Um, when you feel good about yourself, you feel powerful. You know, everyone's had those days where you've had the good hair days, and your makeup's gone right, and you're dressed, and all of a sudden you walk into a room and you feel like you own the room. That's where your power comes from. And that's the power you project, and that's how people perceive you. And I think that's super important. So Barbara, let's talk about the steps that we need to do to get to that place of image and our own empowerment. I think the first most important step is to take a deep breath and acknowledge your power and feel that you are worth taking care of. And you know, when you go through, take it, an inventory of your life and the things that you love, your children, your pets, your car, whatever it is, you take care of them. And the, you need to acknowledge the fact that you need to take care of yourself first because you need to love yourself first. Step two is now self-maintenance. Identify some simple ways of taking care of yourself. Cleansing your skin, a good sun protection is imperative. Um, a good serum to take care of nutrients for your skin, eat well, eat healthy. Step number three, get professional advice. I just recently went to a department store and got a makeover. I got, they do the makeup, it's free, they do these little promotions, and you get to see what the newest and latest greatest things are, things that you wouldn't new necessarily colors. do for yourself, new colors, new ways of applying eyeshadow, lip glosses, whatever the new things are, and that way you can kind of punch it up and get the advice and it doesn't cost you anything. Now this is getting good. Let's get to step number four. Identify your own weaknesses. There's something that maybe other people don't see that bugs you. Is it the few extra pounds? Is it the crow's feet around your eyes? Is it, you know, the way that you do your hair? Something about you. Identify and then go do something about it. Step five, push the envelope. Keep yourself pushing forward. When you're walking in the room and now you've been taking care of yourself and you're feeling power because with confidence comes power. And now when you have the confidence, everyone else feels your power. And so when you're walking in the room, make sure you own that power. Keep pushing it. We talked about self-maintenance. And what you want to do is you want to put great stuff on your skin. What I've developed is a seven serum line. So you can use this with any responsible cleanser that you get from the drugstore or the grocery store even. Cleanse your skin and then on dry skin you apply your serum and then during the day you put a nice sunscreen on and you've taken care of your skin. It takes you less than five minutes and you're good to go with your busy day and you're getting really high quality ingredients on your skin. The packaging is brightly colored. I pushed the envelope. Talking about pushing the envelope, we did it here. <laughs> I got a young artist to do some beautiful paintings, two of which we have behind us, that translated into packaging. Um, and 10% of all profits go towards a foundation that helped girls aging out of foster care. Because I think that for powerful women to make great decisions, they need options. And so we're trying to give those girls as many options as possible. Thank you for joining me for this week's episode of the Women's Power Network. Our subject matter, image and power. And our guest today was Barbara Schumann of Touche Beauty. Thanks so much for sharing such great tips, all five of them. Be sure to catch us next time.